Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Myself, Dr. Pratiksha, and today we are going to talk about nephrotic syndrome in children. So it is a condition that can be concerning, but with the right knowledge, we can navigate it together. So now let's talk about nephrotic syndrome. Basically, it is a kidney disorder that affects your child's kidneys filters, which removes excess waste and fluid from their blood. But in nephrotic syndrome, these filters don't work properly, and it can lead to problem with filtrations. So let's have a quick look at your child's kidney filters. So these are the small little filters uh, which uh, contains blood which removes excess fluid and waste from the blood while keeping the good stuff in but in nephrotic syndrome these filters become damaged and leads to problem with filtration when these filters don't work properly it can lead to several symptoms and the one of the most common symptoms including swelling over the eyes abdomen and legs your child might can also have a foamy urine due to excess protein being passed out through the urine so now let's talk about the causes of nephrotic syndrome so there are many various causes of nephrotic syndrome usually it in some cases it is idiopathic that is the exact cause is not known but it, in secondary conditions it can be due to some medications allergic reactions or infections now let's talk about the first one that is minimal change disease it is one of the most commonest cause of the nephrotic syndrome and it is usually seen between 2 to 6 years of age there is no exact visible uh, change in the kidneys but it is uh, believed that the immune system is involved now second is the focal segmental glomerulosclerosis it is also one of the commonest form of nephrotic syndrome and it is usually seen between the adults and, and children's age and it is in usually involves a scarring of the kidneys which affects the filtration third is the congenital nephrotic syndrome it is usually seen in the infancy and it is associated with many other abnormalities and some children are born with these uh, disorder that is congenital nephrotic syndrome Next is the membranous nephropathy. It is characterized by thickening of the glomerular basement membrane and it is usually seen in the children and it involves to secondary to infections, allergic reactions or medications. Next is the Ig nephropathy also called as Burgers disease. It is characterized by build up of the anti immunoglobulin antibodies in the kidneys that affects the filtration. And next is the uh, infections such as streptococcal infections or parasitic infections such as malaria or uses of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can also uh, be a leading cause to nephrotic syndrome. Now, according to the new research, there is a conflict related to the kidney that is uh, abandoned conflict. Whenever a um, whenever the child is in the womb, the mother feels uh, abandoned. That is a forsaken feeling. She feels unwanted or neglected by her family or any other person, and it may uh, also cause to such conditions. Now, let's talk about the diagnosis and the treatment part. Whenever you find out these symptoms in your child, it is must to uh, consult a healthcare professional as soon as possible. They may they might perform a series of tests, including blood and urine tests, uh, which can lead to the proper diagnosis. Now let's talk about the homeopathic treatment part. Now homeopathic medicines aim to address the underlying conditions and the causes of this such conditions and give them a proper medicines. Homeopathic medicines tries to prevent complications, preserve the kidney functions, and reduce symptoms. Also, these medicines try to control the cholesterol levels and the hypertension levels. Additionally, lifestyle changes can also play an important role in such cases. That is, including a healthy diet in low salt and saturated fat can help your child ensure your child stays active and uh, have a proper intake of fluid. If you like this video, do follow, share and subscribe. Thank you.